Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, it's Kara Lockwood and Seamus Paddington Lockwood, Duke of Yorkie. <laughs> this is Kara Lockwood with Kara's Color Me Vintage. I am doing Color Me Creative Daily Fix. So, if you need a daily creative fix, this is the place to be. Two o'clock every day, I'm coming on doing this, just doing some fun, creative ideas. I'm gathering stuff from around my house. I'm gathering stuff from my website. I'm using some of my DIY paint, but some other things. This is not about DIY paint. It's just about creative fun. So Seamus and I, I'm going to put Seamus down because he's crying like a big baby. So you're crying like a big baby because you want to go downstairs, right? You want to go downstairs? Is that what you want to do? Hey, Shamey, do you want to go downstairs? Okay, okay, bye. Go, 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 go. Okay, let's get busy. So today we are going to do some decoupage and use paper mache, okay? I love paper mache because you paint it and it looks cool. It looks like plaster or stone or anything, you know, something like that. It doesn't look like paper, right? So this is my little paper mache hearts, okay? And I have paper mache balls. Um, I'm gonna call these summer ornaments this time. They can be, they look better when they're not in the light, right? They could be Christmas ornaments, they could be, I put these on my door, like a doorknob decor. Or if you have like a feature wall with photos and all that. You have no sound? Uh-oh. Let me know if I have no sound. I did a sound check and it said it was okay. So if anybody else is on here, I see there are some people on here. Please let me know if I have sound, okay? Because I can always end it and come back. That's why I was holding Seamus so he wouldn't bark like that. That's fun stuff, you guys. Okay, so I see that there are people on here. Oh, good here. Okay, good. Okay, Heather's gonna come back then. So it was just so it wasn't me. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Peggy. Um, hi, Angeli, Angelina. Hello, Mama. Hi, Cindy. Mom's on here, you guys. So yeah, so I have these hearts. These are on my website, as are the small summer ornaments thank you Peggy and the large ones okay I'm gonna work a little slower today maybe because I woke up with vertigo don't know why don't know what's happening I feel fine no congestion or anything just vertigo so hopefully it's just one of those passing things but when I look down and up real quick it gets all funky on me so are you ready okay I'm going to push it down a little bit so you can see my surface area and I'll be able to see you like this and you can see what I'm doing. So every single day I switch the camera. So we'll get to this in a little bit. This is not paper mache. This is an iron orchid um, butterfly. Sorry about Seamus, you guys. It's really frustrating. So. These are the tissue papers I'm going to use. Is that so pretty? So if you like a vintage look, this is a really pretty vintage floral tissue. Okay, it's got lavenders and creams and some deep greens in them. And then this is like a cool summer tissue paper. So I'll probably use this, but I'll have to be a little bit more explicit about where I put them because they're pretty big these hummingbirds on here. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm drinking actually the last two weeks, Mom. I've been drinking more water than I normally do. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I feel fine, I don't feel dehydrated. Um, so all you need to do is paint your little thing. So we're gonna do this like a cooking show. And I'm gonna paint my ornament first. And I think I'll start with the ball, the large ball. So we'll do this one. And you'll see how easy, you know, they just, this is DIY paint. Um, I'm using white swan, which is the whitest of white. It's very pretty. 
and it just goes on. So we're gonna paint this. Look at how pretty. Oh, and I'm going to announce the winners from yesterday um, at the 20 minute mark. So if you are on here when 20 minutes come, I will announce the winners. Okay. And at the 25 minute mark, if you're on here, you can be a winner as well, but you have to be on here when I'm on here for 25 minutes. And Vertigo can, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Vertigo can come suddenly and last a very long time. Well, I hope not because it's pretty annoying. Like, I know I can manage. I walked this morning my normal exercise routine and all that, but, um, and yesterday, even though when I woke up with it, but it's pretty strong when I do certain movements, like pretty strong. I did a tutorial for my group earlier today and it was getting all funky on me. So that's pretty quick, right? You guys to paint that, paint that up. Let's do another one. Okay, and this one I'm going to paint in tarnished pearl, which is a gray white. Okay, but then I'll show you how I do like a nice vintage decoupage. Mom, remember when we used to decoupage, um, like we used to search magazines and get really beautiful magazine pictures and put them on slate. Do you remember that? Mom, are you still here? Yeah, when I when I first realized I had vertigo, of, of course the first thing I did was Google it to see what the causes could be and all that. And I don't have an ear infection that I know of. I'm not congested. I mean, I did have allergies, but they seem to be gone, so I don't know. Maybe left over from all that stuff. Okay, so we got two balls painted. That's pretty quick, right? So I'm gonna put this in the water and I'm gonna grab another brush, oh, just a cheap brush. So we're gonna start with this one. This beautiful vintage paper. Now, something I love about tissue paper is if you want, you can write little messages like, you know, like in cursive underneath this, and then the tissue paper will be see-through. In fact, let me grab a Sharpie and I'll show you. It's so fun. Hopefully it won't bleed on me. Maybe it will, we'll see. Okay, so you can write little words like love, or you could stamp on it, me, more, whatever you want, Merry Christmas, whatever you want it to be, you can do that, and you'll see it will come through. But, you know, like I would take more time to do it than that, obviously and maybe write a love note to somebody. I don't know. I'm just playing and thinking right now. So I'm using DIY products today. Yes, we also made purses out of wooden boxes with decoupage. And I have one of those purses in my closet. I should show it to everybody. But that one was hand painted by you, my mom, mama. And it had a cherry tree on it and it had grandma's hanky inside of it. It got sent to me by our cousin, my cousin. Okay. <laughs> and that hanky that I found inside that wooden box, you guys, it still smelled like my grandma. She wore that. Did anybody else's grandma wear that um, rose milk lotion and perfume? Yeah. So there was a hanky. My grandma passed away 30 years ago. 
but there was a hanky in this box that I just got sent to my house like two years ago and it still smelled like my grandma. Can you even imagine that? <laughs> that was rad. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna tear some paper off. Not even gonna worry about the placement of it. It's just gonna be beautiful, okay? And I'm going to wet this whole ball with this. This is big top and it's a top coat and it's gonna go underneath and on top of the tissue paper. And I wanna work pretty fast because I want it to be wet and I'm gonna put plenty on when I put the tissue paper on. So yeah, did anybody else's grandma or, or mother or anybody wear that rose milk lotion. Oh God, it smelled heavenly. It's just such one of those smells that I just remember. Okay, and I'm just going to put it on, let it wrinkle. Okay, so you can see the words that I put on coming right through. Wouldn't that be cool if you just kind of did cursive all around your ball? And I'm just smoothing it down. The, um, the big top is kind of coming right through. Now I'm just gonna put more big top over here. So every day at 2 p.m., you guys, I'm gonna be here on Facebook and on YouTube. Do you think I can do it for 30 days? That's the challenge that I got from my mentor and my good friend also challenged me. Um, you think I can do it? Yes, this tissue paper is on my website, you guys. Um, it's five sheets for, I think, $6. So... It's a little bit less expensive than some of the other decoupage. I have other decoupage tissue paper by Royce on there as well. This one is not by Royce and I bought a huge bundle of it about a year ago and so I'm able to offer it cheaper because I just, <laughs> it was the only option was to buy 200 sheets of it and I wanted it so bad so I thought, well, heck, Oops, I tore it, and so since I tore it, that's where I'm gonna tear it off, guys. It's as easy as that. I'm gonna tear it off right there, and then I'm gonna tear another piece. Look at how beautiful this is. Okay, but I gotta cover that. Now I can just kind of work in smaller sheets that are gonna work good for me. Won't this be pretty? Like, I mean, little ornamental balls don't have to be Christmas, right? I mean, what, what could you decorate with something like this? I thought it would be pretty to um, make like a garland with it. Like if you have like a shabby, like this one, if you have like a shabby chic home to, you know, get like six balls and make a garland with it, you know, like to go over your, your fireplace. Um, they have, oh my gosh, so I have these stars too. These stars would be an amazing 4th of July. Um, a painted garland for 4th of July. Since we can't really go anywhere, we might as well make our backyards as festive as possible. And I thought we could have a party with our neighbors over the fence. Doesn't that sound fun? Like I thought if our two neighbors on either side of us have a party at the same time, we could have a party over the fence. Works for me. Does it work for you? Americana, yes. She's a total purple freak. And you know what? I mean, you can even paint the um, the underneath in lavender 
and that that would come through and make this more purple, right? Because it would come through the white. But you can just see how I just paint that on and with the, now I'm lifting it up because my fingers are sticking. With the um, big top just smashes it down. Okay, so I got one little spot left to cover. And then we'll do the, we'll try the hummingbirds. Okay, so the big top goes over and, I mean under and, whoops, one more little spot, under and over. And when this dries, I have a special idea for it. Okay, you guys? So don't go anywhere. And I'm gonna announce the winners too. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? Ugh. It's great for Christmas. It's great for just your decor. Okay, let's try a hummingbird. Now I think with these guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some scissors. No, I'm gonna rip it. I'm just gonna put specific things on. We'll see, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing with this. This is gonna be Kara's Color Me Creative. Let's just see how it happens, how it works. I always, I like to cut. I mean, I like to rip, because cuts make yucky black, yucky um, lines. But I don't think this will show up at all, because this paper is so thin. Okay. So I got this little, isn't that beautiful? Look at it. Isn't it pretty, you guys? Hi, sis. Yay, hi, Annette. Thank you for coming on on uh, YouTube. Super stoked about that. This is day three, and Michelle is my sis who one of who challenged me along with Debbie Beard, challenging us to do things like this. And I just told myself, vertigo or no vertigo, this is happening. Okay, how fun is this? Okay, now this would be a beautiful garland, right? The tissue paper just really melts into the ball. You can't, oh, this guy is gonna be gorgeous, you guys. I cannot wait. I'm gonna get some of those flowers off. I'm gonna cut some of those flowers off. Oops, don't, don't rub it too hard. Look, is that beautiful? Give me some hearts, give me some thumbs up. I'm loving him. Let's, get, let's give him a flower to suck on. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that, but that's what they do, right? Let's see, he's gonna get this flower. I'm gonna tear it. And put it on there. Look how pretty. Is that so pretty, you guys? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this flower is gonna kind of go up like that. Look at that, this is so fun. 
See, I've never done this before. Now, I use these, I've used these little, these paper machés to do the IOD molds. I did a YouTube video on the DIY a go go about my mother who's here uh, about that, but I've never done it with decoupage, so I'm super excited about it. The one thing I can say is we need to be gentle because that is some gentle tissue. Look at how pretty that flower is. Now it's going to be see-through. It's a little milky right now, but it will be see-through when it's done. Okay, let's get another guy on the other side of this thing. So pretty. And then maybe I'll cover it in more flowers. Let's see, what color is this hummingbird? He's green. Let's get a purple one on there. Yeah, so this tissue paper is also on my website. And it is also only six bucks for five sheets. I do drawer liners with this. It's really pretty. I'm just tearing it off. I'm gonna let him have his flower. There we go. See how beautiful he is? <laughs> All right. So I have a creative um, group. If you're new here, if you come on to Facebook or YouTube and you're new, I have a creative group. And we are just a bunch of rad ladies. That's just all I can say is I love my ladies in my group. And we just have so much fun together creating and learning about creative business and supporting each other. They're definitely a highlight of my life. Okay, should I announce the winners? And then maybe um, Heather or Michelle, whoever's on there, you can tag them. Oh, look at how pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, you guys? I'm going to cover it with um, flowers now. Okay, so I'll announce the winners while I'm working. So the person who won the uh, chicken, the chickadee, the bird card is Jennifer Dawn Maddox. M A D D. O X Jennifer Dawn Maddox. So if somebody can tag her and let her know she won the bird card. And then the person, the two people who won the other two cards are Melanie Lingle. And where's my other paper? Where's my paper? Oh, I know. I remember Melanie Lingle and Amber Moy. So Amber's in my creative group. So that's always fun. So if you will tag them and let them know that they won. And we are at 23 minutes, but if you're here at 25 minutes and you comment and say bomb diggity in the comment, bomb diggity, you have to say bomb diggity in the comment, you're going to win this hummingbird ball. But you have to say bomb diggity in your comment at 25 minutes. <laughs> Who's going to do it? Who's in? Who's all in? Who's all in? <laughs> Who's going to say at 25 minutes, bomb diggity? 
then you will be entered to get this beautiful hummingbird ball in the mail. I could just, I'm gonna keep on adding the flowers. The flowers are what make it. Uh, the flowers, the flowers are so beautiful. Bomb diggity, it's the bomb diggity. Look at my hands, I got happy hands. Let's see, let's get another flower. Let's get a pink flower. I wish I could find a flower without a beak in it. <laughs> oh, here's a cute one. And if you guys have ideas of what you would like to see on here, give me ideas. I, um, I'm really willing to try almost any, anything. As my ladies know, Oh, the bomb diggities are coming. You get one minute from, from the 25th minute to the 26th minute. You can say it as many times as you want. The more times, I guess, the more entries you'll get. Why not, right, guys? Bomb diggity. Bomb diggity, bomb diggity, bomb diggity. I like it. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun, you guys. Are you guys having fun? Okay, it's almost 20, oh, 25 to 26. Wow, that went fast, didn't it? One minute to get the mom diggities. <laughs> All right, so several people are going to enter to win. Look at how beautiful it's turning out, you guys. Wouldn't that be pretty, um, like, hanging in your on your patio? I don't think it's waterproof, but like hanging in your pat on your patio outside where it's covered. I think that would be really, really pretty. I think my mom wants one. I bet you my mom wants one. Oh, you are the bomb diggity Kara's color me vintage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so another thing that I've learned while doing this social media thing is that it's just about time that we all think ourselves as the rad selves that we are. So I want everybody to tell me one thing that is rad about yourself. Can you tell me one thing that is rad about yourself? Because us, as women, have a hard time believing that we're rad, and it's time that we believe that we are. So, ready, go. Share one thing that is rad about you. Michelle Rapogo, I expect you to take part in this activity. Can you recap? Joined late. Bomb diggity for Quinn. Um, so I am making paper mache ornaments, right? But these are not Christmas ornaments. They're summer ornaments. And I have these paper mache balls that I sell and hearts and stars. They look like this before they get painted that I sell on my website. And right now I'm covering them with this gorgeous hummingbird tissue paper that I also have on my website and just kind of showing you how I paper mache um, and the other one I did like a vintage floral which is a tissue paper also that I have on my website but they're just this would be really pretty hanging outside in your garden or on your covered um patio oh i'm loyal i'm fun you are fun and creative michelle you are a terrific friend heather you are faithful i believe in myself good piggy i rad because i'm a because i'm great <laughs> i'm very quirky oh i like that gail i'm gonna have to meet you in person 
maybe we can have fun with our quirkiness. Thank you guys for sharing all those things. But that's what I'm doing, and I'm coming on here every day at 2 o'clock, and we're doing all sorts of creative stuff. I'm doing giveaways. Um, I am going to do a contest at some point. I'm just trying to figure out what that contest might look like. So get ready for that. Um, if anybody has any ideas of things that they would like me to share, we are going to be doing some shibori, uh, maybe over the weekend, some shibori, because I've got um, my daughter, and she's kind of into tie-dye, and I need to, I'm going to upscale her tie-dye ideas with shibori. Um, if you don't know what shibori is, it's the Japanese art of dyeing fabric. It's a little bit different and more, I guess, more detailed than tie-dye. So we're gonna be doing that. We'll do some florals. So I'll walk you through some florals. I'm just coming up with all sorts of ideas, but I'm kind of loving this little ball right here. Pretty, right? I like it. You guys like it? Still using the hummingbirds, love that tissue. Yeah, I think they're good. I think it's really gorgeous and it's gonna be really great for summer. So yeah, I have this on my website. It's five dollars for five or six dollars for five sheets. It's great for wrapping presents. Um, I have this one, this is the doodle art. This would be cool on something, I don't know what. Um, I use this on furniture all the time, also. So anyways, those are on my website. I would love, as are all of these paper mache ornaments and even stars for 4th of July. I would love to see somebody make a cool garland with these stars, make them all rustic looking. All right, my dears, thank you for your bomb ditties. Elfie, thank you for coming. And um, if you have not subscribed to me on either Facebook or um, YouTube, I would love that. Um, this is this is the avenue I'm taking to grow my business and to um, get to a place where I can do more of what I love and, um, and my husband doesn't have to work so hard. That's what I'm working for. So thank you guys. I appreciate all of your support and um, I will let you know who wins the bomb diggity challenge? <laughs> and you know what? Please give me your ideas. I would love to hear what you would like to see. Don't forget to share all these videos too. Yeah, I said it, Facebook. Share, 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 share. <laughs> they don't like it. They don't like it when we say it. So, all right, you guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them and I will look at the feed throughout the day and answer all of your questions okay thank you guys and thank you to my team here that is posting for me and watching for trolls and doing all that can you spray with outdoor clear poly absolutely rachel you can spray that's a yes um i'm just looking through the comments to see if i missed anything got lots of bomb diggities that's for sure all right. Love the birds. Okay, you guys. Have a great day, okay? Thanks for coming, um, and happy weekend. I'll see you tomorrow at 2. Bye.